Hi, welcome. It's Mary Ellen McGonigal with Your Daily Five. I'd like to provide a bit of background. Those of you not familiar, I do have quite a bit of experience both on and with Wall Street. For over 15 years, I was a VP at William O'Neill and & Company, and he's the founder of Investors Business Daily, a publication all about helping investors outperform the broader markets by uncovering these fast-moving stocks and getting you in just as they're poised to take off. And I've taken that work with me with my current company, MEM Investment research, as well as coursework. I also provide a top-performing bi-weekly newsletter, the MEM Edge Report, where I uncover these stocks and also highlight entry and exit points in addition to a lot in the way of broader market and sector commentary. So let's get started here. I'm showing you a view of two uh, Vanguard ETFs. The red line is the value ETF, and then the blue line is the Vanguard growth ETF. And what I'm emphasizing here, this is over the past 11 days, is the significant outperformance in Vanguard value more recently. With Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine very close to being approved. And that got the markets excited as far as the economic recovery speeding up, and then hence a move into these value stocks. We can see over the last 11 days up over 11% versus growth up about six and a half, almost seven, but pretty significant move into value stocks. So with that, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, based on an article from Market Watch. And what the author did is took a look at those stocks using the Russell 1000 value index. And within that, he was on the prowl for those stocks that were rated either a buy or the equivalent of that by at least 80% of the Wall Street analysts who covered that stock. And then from there, the stock did have to have the most upside price potential based on the average of those analyst price targets. They did come up with a total of 20 stocks, and from there I did go ahead and pare it down to five stocks within that list that looked the most attractive from my work. Let's take a look. First up is a company, media company, NX. ST Nexstar. They're involved in purchasing television stations and also uh, provide streaming media throughout the U.S. And we can see that the stock was initially a big winner out of that bear market, uh, languished and went into a downtrend with the broader markets here in September. But it was not until this week that this downtrend has been reversed. And we can tell that because the stock traded back up above. Most importantly from my work is this red 50-day simple moving average. And it did so on volume, very constructive. The momentum indicators I use in RSI, it's up above that net neutral 50 in positive territory. And then we can see the MACD just turned positive. The company did report their earnings here, came out with very big numbers relative to last year. And it was all about the restructuring of their debt big gains as far as interest payments being reduced and so forth. They're also continuing to expand. Next up is another media company. It's Liberty Media. They are the holding company for Sirius XM. Uh, one of their primary shows is uh, certainly popular is Howard Stern, but they also have other holdings in sporting uh, Formula One and also the Atlanta Braves baseball. So unfortunately, those holdings held the company back as far as earnings as gatherings were prohibited. But more recently, it's another stock that has reversed its downtrend by breaking back above this 200 day simple moving average. And it's another uh, turnaround play, if you will, all about earnings. Uh, analysts are calling for 86% earnings growth next year. And we can see that the RSI and the MACD are both positive for this stock as well. Next up is a biotechnology company, and it's Horizon Therapeutics HZP. 
PN, and I'm pointing this out to you because I'm surprised it's being viewed as a value stock because it was a big growth stock and certainly on a lot of uh, growth style investors radar, but more recently it has fallen out of bed. And the reason for these gaps up here, they do have a primary product. Uh, they do work with rare diseases and uh, rheumatoid arthritis related. And the company was pre-announcing huge growth prospects for their primary drug, but they did come out with very good earnings and sales last week, but the company did falter despite that, and primarily because they did not continue to guide higher as they had done in prior quarters. I'm pointing this out because it can could easily turn positive. We would want to see that RSI break back up above this net neutral. It's poised to do so. And then also this MACD, which has been trending downward for some time, we would need to see that moving average convergence, divergence, black line come up through the red and turn positive, similar to this April period back here. So not quite ready for prime time, but keep it on your radar. Another company here is also a biotech company, R-E-T-A is the ticker symbol. Big gap up here, huge volume for the stock. Uh, they did reverse their downtrend all about earnings here as well. And analysts also excited because the company announced a significant amount in cash flow that would allow the company to continue to develop their uh, biotech products that are uh, diabetic and otherwise involved. But we can see this nice gap up here. The stock broke above this 200-day simple moving average, huge volume, and it could have everything to do with the $260 price target that Wall Street has on this $178 stock. I'm going to share with you an intraday chart that might be a bit more helpful because the stock has already had a huge advance. This is a one-hour price chart, and I'm going to share with you what you are going to be on the prowl for with the stock relative to this green 5-hour and red 13-hour simple moving average. You will want it to remain above that. Your moving average convergence divergence is trending downward, but it is still up here above this net neutral zero. So you are still in good standing, but ideally if you can capture a move similar to this late September period when the stock broke back above these shorter simple moving averages 5 and 13 hour in conjunction with a positive RSI and MACD. But certainly you can see these stocks after having big moves. They will pause similar to uh, earlier this month before having another advance up. Uh, last up here is Vistra Energy, VST. This is a utility stock. It's a 2.7% yielder, another downtrend reversal play, breaking back up above all of its simple moving average, which was, you can see historically, particularly this blue 200-day simple moving average continued to act as upside resistance. We finally get that break back up above in conjunction with a positive RSI and MACD. The company's involved in renewable energy. They have a big solar energy project in Texas. Uh, we're also seeing a nice move into utility stocks. I didn't want to leave this without sharing with you one of my favorite stocks from my MEM Edge report at this time. It is a growth stock, unlike the value stocks that we've been covering. And this is Qualcomm Semiconductor, QCOM. We had this big gap up at the end of last week. The company reported huge 85% year-over-year earnings growth. They have a positive RSI and MACD. The company is at the forefront with the 5G rollout that's currently taking place. They're very ahead of the curve there. Uh, for those of you that would like to be alerted to other fast growing stocks in this bullish looking semiconductor group. This is SOXX, the ETF for semiconductors. We can see hitting a new high, very much in a bullish uptrend. Go ahead, take a look uh, at my website, meminvestmentresearch.com, and take advantage. I have a special four week offer for this bi weekly report for $7. In fact, this week I've put out an alert 
every single day. We're now into Thursday. So in addition to biweekly, you will get midweek reports and alerts as they come. Until next time, take care.